Hey, Wasabi, Operation Hydroid here, and this is my PSX for All request series where I show you how to get specific games on PSX for All. These games are taken by request, so if you would like to request a video, leave it in the comment section below. And today's episode is How to Get Final Fantasy IX on PSX for All. Okay, so to get this to work, we're going to need three things. The first one being PSX for All, the actual PlayStation 1 emulator, and the application that we're going to use to play the game. If you do not have that, there will be an annotation on the left or a link in the description. We'll also need iFile, file browsing system, which we'll use to put the game in the right place. If you do not have that, there will be an annotation on the right and a link in the description. And lastly, we'll need Safari Download Enabler. And to get that, you'll have to go into Cydia, then into the search tab and search Safari Download Enabler. It's the first tweak. It's completely free, so go ahead and install that. To actually get Final Fantasy IX, we're going to go into Safari. And when Safari loads, we're going to type in the URL coolrom.com. So it goes C O O L R O M.com. Now, this is going to load the page and take us to their mobile website, which is completely fine because their mobile website is a lot easier to use. Anyways, when the page loads, we're going to have three options here, instructions, emulators, and ROM files. We're going to click on ROM files. From here, it's going to list all the systems that they have ROMs under. So we're going to scroll down to Sony PlayStation because that is the system that we're trying to get games on. So it's second to last, then go ahead and click on that. Now it's going to load their directory where they have all their ROMs neatly organized under top 25 downloaded, top 25 rated, and browse by letter. We're going to go by top 25 downloaded because Final Fantasy IX is a pretty popular game. So from here we're going to scroll down till we find Final Fantasy IX. And here it is. It's Final Fantasy IX Disc 1. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now this is going to load... Final Fantasy 9 Disc 1's ROM page with a nice little layout that has two screenshots, the file name, the file size, the system, its rating, the amount of times it's been downloaded, and other stuff. But what we're looking for is that when we scroll down it's going to say download now. This is the download link for the ROM so when we click on that it's going to start the download of the ROM so you will know it will be downloading because at the top where the URL was has now changed to the amount of megabytes being downloaded to the amount of megabytes to be downloaded so it is 391.88 megabytes this should not take too long but I will be back when it is done we'll have a screen like this the download took me approximately 40 minutes around there it all depends on your internet speed, though I recommend that you're on a strong Wi-Fi connection. Anyways, from here we're going to click on the Open In option. Then the Finder option. You only have this if you went ahead and got Safari Download Enabler. Now, from here you should be in VAR Mobile. If you're not, then just go all the way back until it says VAR Mobile on the top and you can't go back anymore. From here we're going to click on the Media folder. Then click on the ROMs folder, PSX folder, and here we're going to click save on the top right. Okay, from here we're going to go home and open iFile. Now when you open iFile you should be at VAR Mobile as I am, but if you're not then click on the house at the bottom right, this little house. From here we're going to click on the folder media, scroll down folder ROMs folder PSX and we're going to look for a Final Fantasy 9.7z uh, file so as you can see it's right here now what we're going to do is click on the file then click on archiver now what this does is that it extracts the files that are within the .7z file so 
there are three other files in this .7z file and we want to get them out. So that's what we're, we are doing. Anyways, this should take two to five minutes and I'll be back when it is done. Alright, so when it is done on archiving everything, you'll see that it says everything is okay. And at the bottom, finished with result code 0. So that means that everything went properly as it was supposed to. And we can continue. So at the top right, we are allowed to click done now. And we'll see here that we have a Final Fantasy 9 disk 1 version 1.1 .bin file and a .q file. Now this is perfect. This is what we need. Also, if you guys are looking to free up some space, you can delete the .7z file by sliding to the right, clicking delete. And then this does not permanently delete the file. It just puts it in the trash. To empty the trash, click edit the trash can, empty trash. And now you'll have your space back. From here, we're going to go home. And we're going to go into the PSX for all application, but we must check if it is not running in the background. So as you can see it's running in the background here. I'm going to have to kill it by holding it and pressing the red minus. And now from here I'm going to click on the PSX for all application and when it opens my Final Fantasy 9.bin file will be there. So if I scroll down to the F's Final Fantasy 9 disk 1 version 1.1 bin is there. So to play the game, I'm going to click on the file and then Portrait in No Sound so I can show you guys the game running in action. Now, the PSX for all application always starts with the Sony boot logo. And after that, it will go into the PSX boot logo, as you can see here. And after these two boot logos come up, the game will run. Now, you guys should have the PSX BIOS or else you'll just have a black screen. If you do not have the PSX BIOS, there's a link on the screen to go get that. So that's only if you're getting a black screen. So as you can see here, the game is running properly. Anyways, I think it's pretty awesome that you can play PlayStation 1 games on your I did I device especially Final Fantasy 9 being such a great game with great graphics as you can see here so this is awesome and extremely cool so guys if this helped you and you like this video then go ahead and click that like button it is always appreciated thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video and if you would like to see Final Fantasy 9 in action running perfect on an iPhone 3GS, click that white icon at the bottom right. Also, if you would like to increase your PSX Pro experience, click on that black icon at the top left to get invisible control. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video and like to see more videos like this, click on that green subscribe button at the top right.